Hey friends, this is over right game here, and welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 19. So I spent up time a little bit, did a few contracts as well, and got a little bit of money. And hopefully you didn't see what I was trying to hide from the camera, but still spun the camera around. Um, we earned a little bit of money, and we traded up our old grain trailer for that one. So this is another new trailer to the game. This is the uh, Strautman, which is a new brand to the game. With the 12,000 liter capacity upgrade, you can have a... I think it's like a 4,000, a 8,000, and a 12,000 liter. And then it can also be a bale trailer. Which is cool, so I decided we would, should upgrade to that. Um, don't really need it, but it's a good upgrade. But we have our oat, and I went ahead and did this field in soybeans. I ended up doing it off camera just because I was doing the contracts to get some money. But I threw some soybeans in here and they need to be sprayed as well. And the sunflowers need sprayed again as well. So we got three fields to spray. All of our fields to spray that is. Get that going. So yeah, the contracts are pretty fun. Um, I already got some pretty good ideas to do in the future with uh, some, of the, some of the contracts. I think it should be pretty fun. But for now we got to focus on actually building our farm. I think I want to do at least cows and horses on this farm. Um, I don't know why I lowered that. I was playing around on a kind of like a test save I have for this map, and it seems like there's not really good any good places right here for animals. So we're gonna have to buy some more land, more suitable for uh, animal pens. As much as I like the uh, placing, the placeable system they have, I think it could be better. Like the uh, the hills that it can create can be a lot smoother. Um, just that's that's just my opinion, I guess. But I mean, I think that's probably a pretty popular opinion right now. Is that the the inclines that the placeables create can be a lot smoother. And not so steep and jagged. But we'll see what they do with that. Hopefully they uh, hopefully they realize that. And hopefully they can fix that. If not, I'm sure there's a mod there'll be a mod that comes out with like better replaceables or something. <laughs> Guarantee you it'll be called you know, some the name will be somewhere around those lines, I'm sure. Hey, we got a steam achievement. We have happy plants. I guess that's probably spraying, spray a hectare of plants, probably. That's good. I do think I know what land we're going to get be getting. Uh, next, I think it's, well, not next, but after the next one, <laughs> if that makes sense. So obviously we want to buy field, the land around field nine, which is right over there. I believe that's field nine. But then I want to buy kind of that hill right over there where that birch tree is. Yeah, right there. I think we want to buy that land after we build, after we buy field 9. Or, you know, that land right there. I think that'll be good. Uh, there is some other land that I'm looking at as well. Mainly for the animals. Like, the land around field 9 and the hill right there. Those are pretty much just be for fields. Like the hill, I'm thinking about just putting hay on it. I think it'd be really cool to have a hay on the hill kind of thing. That, that kind of sounds cool, actually. <laughs> I never said that out loud. That sounds really cool. But uh, yeah. Hope you guys are doing good today. Yet another upload, finally. Finally getting back into the swing of YouTube. Finally found a good kind of a good system to do it and still have time for work and stuff and it seems to be working you guys seem to be liking the videos and that's really all I could ask for <laughs> so I was testing around with some of the contracts and I did cheat a little bit to get some a little bit of money um, I found out that 
if you fill up a trailer in your combine and then cancel the mission, you keep that grain and you can sell that grain. <laughs> so, um, like I said, a little bit of cheating, but once I filled up a trailer and just about filled up the combine again, I was like, okay, you know what? This combine is way too small because I was using my own machinery because I thought I could handle it, but no, it was way too small. <laughs> way way too small so this is now fertilized 100% this the soybeans are probably 50% yep the soybeans should yield as best as they can we don't even have any weeds yet so that's good and the sunflowers they're not going to yield too well they need plowing and lime so they do have 100% fertilizer and no weeds though I went ahead and ran through them off camera just to make sure there are no weeds hiding anywhere. And um Yeah, so I think I know what tractor we're gonna get next. Actually let me show you the 6M real quick. I also did pick up a corn header so we can harvest those soybeans. Um and so we can do corn. But the 6M actually does have a front front loader attachment. I completely forgot, so I threw that on there. Um Is there anything else I'm missing? No, that's pretty much it. I did want to buy a dog, though. <laughs> We're going to buy a dog this episode. And uh, I think I'm going to let you guys pick the name for it. So, if you guys think of a name for the dog, go ahead and drop it down in the comments below. And uh, I'll pick either one, one that I just like the most, or one that I see the most, or one that has the most thumbs up basically because you guys can thumbs up other people's comments and that can be like your way of saying oh I like that name I want that name to win you can do that so doggy right there awesome let's go check him out so you can pet him right oh we gotta feed him first wait 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 come here come here I want to pet you I want to see how this works Oh, you, ro you rode through your house that's okay pet I wish there was a hand animation otherwise that's pretty cool and you can actually tell him to follow you which is pretty cool <gasps> wait can we can we do this oh you need to learn fetch buddy Hey, stop rolling away. Stop rolling away. Stop. What? Okay. <laughs> Teleporting ball. That's okay. I guess. So I actually don't know what else to do with this episode. Um. Because I showed you the new equipment. Oh, yeah. I do want to show you guys what we're going to be picking up next. For tractors, at least. I think we're going to get you to go with a case maxim or a case puma but I'm really hoping to get the roadrunner because this looks like the purple beast so if we can pick up the roadrunner then we will have our purple beast once again sorta I mean it's not gonna be the purple beast but it'll be a purple beast I guess <laughs> But that was actually a comment I got on one of the last episodes, and I love seeing those comments. Um, is will there be the Purple Beast? And of course there will. We'll always have the Purple Beast in these series. Um, I was looking through here and saw something that I'd like to get. I can't remember what it was though. <laughs> um, weeders? No. Because I'll just, I'll probably just lease a weeder, honestly. But uh, yeah, we're actually, you know what, let's just go ahead and speed up time and I'll show you guys the sleep sleep mechanics. I think that'll be good. We'll, we'll watch the crops from inside the house. And maybe we'll harvest today, who knows. Man, look at the clouds. They've done so much to just the environment of this game that it's amazing. Like clouds are just so natural. Obviously, they're moving really fast right now because I have the speed on 120 times. 
But the sun actually is a light source. There's, there's actually a sun. There's actually a moon, and the moon is a light source. It's all so cool. And they've done, I mean, they've just done amazing with it. Can we sleep yet? You are not tired. Okay. I think we have to wait till like 21 to sleep. Let's watch the clouds. Beautiful. Okay, so you only have to wait till about 19 o'clock. <laughs> That's not how you say it, I know. It's just fun to say it like that. But you just have to wait to 1900 to actually sleep. So let's go ahead and press. Oops, we gotta walk outside real quick. <gasps> wait, listen. Shut up. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's crickets and critters in the ambient, uh, ambient, or ambient, yeah, ambient sounds. Anyways, let's sleep. Let's go for, so if we go to, that's 21, 24, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now let's sleep for a good 8 hours. We, had, we paid our loan interest and our property maintenance fees. Let's speed the time up again so we can see. Oh, actually slow it back down. <laughs> so it is three in the morning. Yeah, you can see the moon is actually pretty bright today. Okay, actually these are fertilized. Yeah, the soybeans, we need to hit the soybeans real quick. There's some fertilizer. I don't see any weeds popping up through here real quick. This is what I do when I check the fields is I just kind of run around them. And I'm not necessarily looking at the field, I'm looking down at the bottom where the field info is. That's what I look at. Yeah, I think we'll be good. And um... Let's see, I think this is good as well. Yep, it's good. All right, so that's how good it happened to 6M and spray the soybeans real quick. So this is actually a good time to show you guys the new lights, the new lighting system. That was my dog jumping off the bed because apparently she wants down now. Um, but, I mean, even the interior is kind of... Okay, not so much on this... Whoa, look on the joystick. There's lights on the joystick. Actually, all the little buttons are lit up. That is incredible. That's actually incredible. So, let's go ahead and go up to the soybean field real quick. Check out the beautiful new lighting. It looks so good. It really does. This is something that I've been wanting to see firsthand for a while I've seen it the with the um, you know just in the Giants streams that they were doing I'll let you raise this up real quick and um, that's really the only place I've seen it honestly I can't really see the edges of our booms but I know that this field is a two pass field so as long as we're relatively lined up on this and we should be good I did use uh, my own equipment for one of the fertilizing jobs so that, that's why actually I can't remember yeah that's why the sprayer is now filled up you guys remember last time I think it was last episode we um I showed you guys that you can actually unload the sprayer I showed you guys how to do that and we just left the pallet there. We didn't fill the sprayer back up. If I remember correctly, at least. <laughs> and, um, but yeah, I've used my own equipment for one of the fertilizing jobs. And done. Easy. Easy, easy. Let's go ahead and bring this back into the shed. Honestly, I want to try to get harvesting on, on some of these crops today. That'd be cool. So, um, you know, at least the, at least the sunflowers, because then we can put some, 
Well, we can do what we need to do with that in the next episode. Because that needs plowing and lime, so. We'll probably throw lime down and then just plow it in. But for now, let's speed up the time. Go to about 6 or 7 a.m. And we'll see that. Alright, so it is about 5.30 in the morning. And we have a little bit of a problem. Our sunflowers are ready to go. But we have a pretty good uh, weed problem in our oat field. So we gotta pick up some herbicide for that. And for that we gotta go to the store real quick. Get going down to the store. Now even though we do have the f uh, front loader arms on this, um, it's not really worth just buying the pallet, picking the pallet up, putting it in the Mahindra Retriever and driving it back to the farm to fill it up. Because why would I do that? Honestly. It's just gonna be it's going to be better for us to drive there with a sprayer and pick it up like that. But we do need to pick up some herbicide and we're going to the store to do that. And look at these lights. Man. What is that? This is amazing. Let's turn off the blinker real quick. It's a little annoying. This is beautiful. I actually never drove it. I actually never drove at night or early morning at, in this game. These lights are amazing. <laughs> they really are. Are those lights in the? Oh my god. That house is gonna have rock lights. Oh no, they're just work lights. Never mind. <laughs> Damn, that was about to be really cool for a second there, but it wasn't. All right, back at the store. Let's go ahead and pick up the. Well, not back at the store, but at the store, pick up the herbicide tank. Another twenty-four hundred dollars. Should do us for a little bit at least. It's two thousand liters. Should do us pretty good, real quick. Or should last us a while, at least, is what I was trying to say. There we are. I love that weeds are in the game now. It brings back the sense of uh, soil management from 13 and 15. I really liked that mod. I uh, didn't get much into it though until 17 came around though. I only played it for about two months in 15. The last two months of 15 I think I played it is when I really got into it. But uh, it is what it is. And man, this oversight is heavy. The front of the tractor feels really light right now. And I like that you can actually feel that just driving. And I'm just driving with a keyboard uh, until I get my steering wheel fixed. The steering wheel is fine, it's just the pedals are broken. Like the spring in it is worn out. Alright, pulling back up to the farm here. Now I just noticed in my mirror that there is a fill gauge on this. You can't see it now because of the wiper, but there's a fill gauge on the side of the tank. That's pretty cool. I just hit the fertilizer tank. Oops. Let's go ahead and get unfolded. We do have to harvest the uh, sunflowers as well, but right now we gotta take care of the weeds before they become too much. Because if they become too much of a problem, then that will signif significantly hurt our yield. So we go in here, you can see weeds, 100%. I don't see any weeds right in this vicinity right here, through the, oh wait, right there. There's a weed right there where the cursor is. But uh, yeah, we gotta take care of these right now. There we go. Yep, you better fly away birds. You don't wanna be pecking at this, although you know what, actually go ahead because that'll take care of the bird problem. <laughs> Although probably not. They, they probably have some sort of immunity to it, honestly. If, if we're speaking realistically, there's probably some sort of immunity in birds to pest or herbicides. Well, look at the crop, crop spending. That's so beautiful. <laughs> this game is so beautiful. I, I really can't say that enough. Although I probably can because it'll get on you guys' guys' nerves, but you know what I mean. 
So if we go in here now, weeds, zero. Luckily, luckily we didn't get any tall weeds. That's always good. Can't duck under there. Dang it. Also, something new in 19. If we try and get in the tractor from here, oops, from here. Okay, usually you can't get in tractors from the wrong side. Like, usually you can't get in the tractor from this side. But I guess it's different since it has the door here. I, think. I don't know. Anyways, let's put this down, hook up to our new tipper, and let's get the combine rolling with some flowers real quick. Uh, just pretty much just to round off the episode. Because uh, that is that. Wow, mouth stroke. Because um, that'll be the last thing we do this episode is harvest the sunflowers. Next episode is when we would spread the lime and plow that in to that field to get in tip top shape. Our tipper is behind here. <sighs> Hit the corn header. That's not good. So uh, I was thinking earlier when I was doing the contracts on this save game. Um, I think this tractor is going to be one we keep pretty much the entire let's play. Because <laughs> I really do like this tractor. It's a good, you know, medium sized tractor. It does what we need it to do. You can put the carrier wheels on. You can put... Uh, front loaders on it. It'll be just good, you know, once we get bigger equipment, this will be, still be a good utility tractor. Use it for hay or something, you know. Actually, let's go ahead and turn that off because I don't know how good these are going to yield, honestly. I'm really not expecting a massive yield from these. I don't even think it'll fill up the combine once. Yeah, I feel pretty good about saying that. Turn on the lights real quick. We'll pull out, flip around, drop the grain header, and pick up the corn head. There we are. Perfect. Set her down right there. We'll go ahead and unfold the combine right here. That way, all we have to do is drive to the field and turn it on. Corn header is right there. Hopefully, we can get it without hitting the Mahindra. There we are. Tiny corn header, but I mean, it's a small combine, so. I actually like the looks of this uh, corn header on here. It actually looks pretty cool. I think we'll pretty much let the worker take care of it. Actually, let me go on the other side and take off a few end rows. Because there's a pretty good uh, hill right after the field. I, I don't want him to get stuck on that hill. <laughs> So we'll take off uh, probably two passes down here. Oh no, are there weeds in here? Oh, there are weeds. Dang it. Well, we don't have a sprayer tall enough for that, realistically. Let's just go ahead and do this. There it goes. Yeah, not yielding so well. Like I said, probably not going to fill up the combine once, but that's okay. Honestly, expected it. Why didn't it cut those? Okay. Can they not? cut when there's weeds. It's a little weird. We'll have to see about that. Right here. Now it's cutting those just fine. I don't know. Let's just hire the worker and see what happens. 
Yeah, there's actually a lot of weeds in here. I didn't see that. I didn't do a proper run through, so I didn't see all the weeds. But, oh well. Honestly, it, this was the last stage. I don't think it'll hurt the overall yield all that much. But it might. I'm actually not entirely sure on that. I missed the row here. What happened there? What happened, bro? I missed the row. Is the field uneven? Oh, yeah, the field's uneven. Okay. Makes sense. Let's get an action shot of this. Turn our headlamp off. Oh, look under there. Look at the stalk, cho stalk choppers. That's cool. Can we see it? Yeah, you can see the stalk choppers underneath. Let me run to the other side of the field and try to get a good view of that. Because that was awesome. That, was, that looked really cool. So when he lifts the head up, look under the head. Like, look, look, look at this. Ugh. Hopefully you guys were able to see it. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Really? Really? Uh, I thought the hired workers were better in 19. Alright, well, let's take off two more headlands, or head, yeah, head rows, I don't know, head, yeah, headland, that's what it's called, duh, for some reason it didn't sound right to me, I don't know why, there we are, do one more and hopefully we won't have that weird problem with the hide worker. I wonder if it was because I was there and it thought there was more to get. I don't know. How it, that whole situation was just weird, okay? Very, very strange. But luckily for us, these sunflowers do sell pretty well. Whether or not we sell these dire directly off the field or not, not entirely sure. I think we might store them, but I really don't see us doing sunflowers much in the future. Not for a while, at least. So I think to cover our, the cost of at least a hired worker and maybe the seed uh, that we're going to be put be putting in here. I think it'll be worth it to go ahead and sell it right off the bat. Now I'm probably not going to worry about cleaning up the edges all, all that much. I might, but I also might not. Anyways, let's let the hard worker do its thing. And uh, let's do a time lapse real quick. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. <laughs> Alright, so unfortunately, I know that was a very short time lapse and we didn't complete this field quite yet, but I will go ahead and end the episode here because I gotta get ready for work right now. Um, wasn't really paying attention to time and it's just r right at the time where I had to get ready for work, so apologies, but I do have to get ready for work. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. We did, we did a lot. We sprayed one two three four times pretty much I think was it four times yeah four times uh, three times with fertilizer and one time with herbicide should have been two times with fertilizer with herbicide 
uh, been, yeah. But, oh well, it is what it is. And, uh, I hope you have enjoyed it, so, if you have enjoyed it, please like this, like, I'm a subscriber, and you're not a subscriber. If you are a subscriber, click the bell, because you're notified when I upload and or stream. Also, comment down below what you guys think the dog should be named. And it's a nice one. I'm going to keep it real.